Allie Dowd. And I'm Olivia Bunting. Today is November 4th and you're watching BBN News. The Bark's new fall magazine is now out. If you'd like to pick up a copy, they're available in the display located in the main stairwell. Les Mis is coming up on Thursday and Kira Letzinger has more on how the cast and crew are managing such a large scale production. Bearden's musical theater department is known for producing incredible shows that draw in audiences from all over. From Legally Blonde in 2012 to last year's performance of The Addams Family, the cast and crew go above and beyond under the direction of Leanne Dixon. With that being said, this year's performance of Les Mis is proving to not only be the largest, but also the most difficult show in Bearden history. When we talk about costumes, we've got hundreds of costumes. The acting is so difficult because they're playing very adult emotions. Um, very adult, very sad story. Uh, and I think most students have never experienced the emotions that are going on in this show. And uh, the set is massive, the painting is massive. Um, every, every aspect of it is just really large. A key difference in this year's show is the fact that it's in the style of an opera. Even Bearden's most experienced actors and actresses are working hard to persevere through the style of the show and convey the complex emotions of the French Revolution. Well, it's all singing, so it's, it's a lot different as far as uh, the way we have to carry ourselves vocally and with our acting, it all has to be acting through song, which changes all of the physicalities that we've learned in drama one and drama two, if you've taken it, um, you have to be able to move through song, not just carry it through lines. With one of the most talented casts in Bearden history, an amazing crew, and a show known to take audiences' breath away, Les Mis is sure to be revolutionary. Kira Letzinger, BBN News. Thanks, Kira. Now we're going to take an inside look on the happenings behind the scenes of Les Mis with Alex Clevenger and Connor Kay. Oh, hey, BBN. My name is Alex Clevenger. And I'm Connor Kay. And this is our crib, the set of Les Mis. Welcome to Javert's Bridge. Now, for this one, we have to give a very special thank you to Mr. Krampaski, our set designer. Uh, he, he helped us a lot with this one, but uh, also a very special thank you to Props Crew for making it look so good. Uh, it's two separate pieces that roll on and come together at the middle. It's pretty awesome. And this is also Javert's happy place. So welcome to the next part of our set. This is part of the master's house. So this is the end where most of the events in the beginning happen. Uh, but wait a minute, we can take this wall off and it becomes... The Barricade! Hey buddy. Oh, don't get scared. These aren't real guns. They're just the props for Les Miserables. Oh. These guns are artfully crafted by craftsmen of <laughs> We special ordered these guns by order of Miss Dixon because we didn't have any firearms that looked real enough from the 1800s. So we spent a lot of money on just getting the right firearms. Can you imagine what the rest of the show is going to be like? Welcome to Costume Room C. Here we have pictured Javert, one of the main characters. You can see the detail and uh, attention that we put into everything here. Over here we have one of Valjean's outfits, uh, one of the more memorable ones, due to the number on the front, for those of you that are Les Mis fans. Uh, it just shows that we put thought into everything. It's cool. It's cool. is back after a whole year. You can send in your pics by using the hashtag Beard and Captured and tagging at Beard and HS now. Now let's take a look at what's going on with Beard and students.
this week, everyone. Have a gnarly weekend, folks and gentlewomen folks. Hey, I was... This is BBN Sports. What's up, Bearden? I'm Steven. And I'm Shakara. Last week, the Bearden football team beat Jefferson County 21 to 10. The Bearden Bulldogs are now 4 and 6 in the season, and they will start the playoffs tonight against Riverdale in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So far, Riverdale Warriors are 5 and 5. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Good luck to the Bearden football team. Last week, the boys rugby team won their second annual Halloween tournament, beating South Doyle, Georgia Phoenix, and teams from Middle Tennessee. Congratulations to the boys rugby team. The Bearden hockey team lost their first game of the season against Farragut. The final score was 8-1. to one. The Ice Dogs play their next game against the Knights. That's all for this week on BBN Sports. Have a great weekend, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>